ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter and an oil bottle. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description as well as in the link to know the type of oil and amount needed. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the oil fill plug. This will increase the oil flow when performing an oil change. Lift the front of your vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. If the front plastic crankcase is present, you should now remove it to have full access to the drain nut. You can now see the drain nut. Unscrew the drain nut with a 19mm spanner. Start the process with a wrench and finish off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns. The oil can squirt out immediately. You have to anticipate by placing a container underneath to collect the oil. You can learn how to make one by watching another of our videos How to make a collector for liquids. Let the oil run out for 10 minutes or so. When you change the oil in your car, you must also replace the oil filter. In order to collect the oil it contains that might flow out when you remove it, place a liquid collector underneath. To access the oil filter, you need to remove the power steering fluid reservoir. Take the hose out of its plastic cover. Using a socket wrench, an extender and a 10mm socket, Unscrew the bolt holding the power steering fluid reservoir. Remove the washer. You will now need to shift the air intake duct. To do this, you will have to remove the pin that holds it in place. Use a flathead screwdriver to create a lever and remove it. Then shift the air inlet conduit. With a socket wrench, a gimbal, an extender and a 36mm socket, release the flange on the oil filter, turning it anti-clockwise until it starts turning easily. When it has been released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. Place it in the liquid collector. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. Separate the filter cartridge from the flange, levering it off with a flathead screwdriver. Using a thin screwdriver, take out the rubber O-ring which is located on the flange washer. Clean the filter flange with brake clean fluid and a piece of tissue. Take the new filter. Replace the seal with the one that is supplied with the new filter, ensuring it properly oil its surface. Insert the new filter into the flange. You will hear the click that says it has been locked into place. Oil the seal at the end of the filter rod. 
screw the flange back on by hand until it touches. To tighten it, take a socket wrench, an extender and a 36mm socket. Careful, with this kind of oil filter, the new joint can be excessively thick, making the actual tightening process more complicated. As a result, you have to ensure that the flange washer is flat against the oil filter housing. For this step, you can also use a torque wrench that has been set to 25 Nm. Place the air inlet conduit back. Then refit the pin. Put the power steering fluid reservoir back in place. Then screw it back on. Put the hose back in place. On VAG Group vehicles, the O-ring doesn't come apart from the drain nut. We recommend replacing the old nut with a new one every time you drain the oil. Put it on by hand, then finish off using the 19mm spanner. Now, you have to put the oil back into the motor. You have to be very careful and precise when doing this part of the job. Firstly, put the crankies back in place Then lower your car back to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find the exact amount of oil suggested for your car in the description of the tutorial. Close the oil fill plug. Start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath. Remove it again. And check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful to never go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, readjust to obtain the optimum amount. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.